So if you've never seen a $175,000 camper before, then I guess we're both about to see one together at the same time. But coming at you right at 40 feet in length is this 2020 DRV Mobile Suites model 41 RK SB4. To date will be considered one of the most expensive RVs that we've had the privilege of viewing here on this channel. Rear kitchen floor plan with four total slides and talking about some unreal crazy construction the quality of this full-time rv is absolutely unreal independent suspension three and a quarter inch thick side walls full body paint and just so many more great features but we're going to start on the outside of the coach going over the different weights the specs and dimensions before heading inside so if you're new here welcome to the channel hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started. Coming out, you're 40 feet, 11 inches in length, with four total slides. This is this 2020 DRV Mobile Suites model 41 RKS B4, rear kitchen model. In the bedrooms up here, just call it a bedroom slide. Full body paint. Some absolutely crazy construction on these models. This is a full time RV. Half inch plywood on the roof. 5 8 plywood on the floor, full body paint, and I just want to get up here and point out this, this chassis this thing sits on. 6 inch box style, 6 inch box style with a 3 inch there for a total of 15 inches. Just absolutely crazy with some of the construction. Both of the bigger slides are hydraulic. 3 and a quarter inch thick side walls, which is the thickest in the industry. The roof material is a fiberglass material, one solid sheet. Most of the luxury RVs that we have here with Keystone as well as Forest River use either a PVC or a rubber membrane. Gross vehicle weight rating of 22,000 pounds and I have it confirmed what the hitch weight is on this model. But check out this, check out the storage space on the front. There's tons of it and what they really do great too is this if you've ever had to work on your camper before underneath and you try to gain access to all the, the water lines maybe the inverter the furnace holding tanks sometimes can be rather difficult and it would require you to drop all the individual panels underneath the camper to get access to this drv makes their own copper water manifold making it that much easier for you all the controls the level the coach on the outside with this digital screen to simply pressing of a button the coach will level itself and as well as check out the propane bottles the slide mechanism to bring them out to 40 pound bottles you can also get this coach with generator prep excuse me with a generator it's prepped right now that's where it would go up underneath here the battery compartment also slides out too that's on a tray it'll slide right out giving you quick access to all of that independent suspension by more ride Coming around, you're gonna have two electric awnings. One of them 17 feet, and the other one is closer to the 11 foot range. Steps through flip up inside the doorway. Tall or six foot tall door. I don't have any problems entering or exiting at all. I'm six foot two. One molded fiberglass rear cap, frameless windows, and this coach has the LED option for the tail lights. Two inch receiver on the back that is for pulling a vehicle. There is a seven pin connector built in as well. Electric reel. That way you're not trying to lug this absolutely heavy cord around. It's about 25, maybe 26, 27 feet in length. There's the button to retract it there. Sewer connects on this coach. You got two different ones since the kitchen's in the back and the bedroom's up here. One of them's back here. The pull handle's inside of there. But the rest of them are up here in the front. This is going to be your main station for all of your black and gray for the bathroom. And the water management area here will house the pool handles. Everything's nicely, neatly organized. And the water lines do come up through the floor there. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can't get inside to go over some of its features. 
Here inside Mobile Suite, model 41 RKSB4. Four total slides with two opposing each other in the rear of the coach, opening it up, giving you around 18 feet of space to move about. And I've got all the blackout shades closed at the moment to point out all the attention to detail with some of the lighting, as well as it gives you a better look at all of the solid wood. Check out your slide boxes. Accent lights in the slides, underneath the kitchen, as well as in the slide over here. This is just one absolutely massive slide over here. The dining room table on this model looks like it's only set up for two, but there are two more chairs found underneath the bed at the moment. And I will pull this out. There's a leaflet as well as it pulls out away from the wall. Seating room for about, honestly, five people. Just one enormous table. Sleeping room for four, but seating for possibly five. And there is about a 50 inch TV in the down position at the moment. Electric heat providing you around 5,000 BTUs of heat, but if you don't camp in the winter, you can definitely turn that off. And check out the trim. Even the trim around your television is trimmed with the solid wood. I'm not gonna let that all the way up, but just to give you an idea. This is crazy. All the attention to detail that they've put inside this model. When it comes to the heating, DRV talks about they understand you live closer into the slides. That's why they move all their heating systems to the edge of the coach. Six different tubes running all the way throughout underneath the floor, giving you the maximum amount of heating you could possibly get inside this model. Nicer, taller ceilings, and this coach has two Whisper Quiet 15K airs, and this one is on. Hope that's a decent sound quality test for you. Coming back to the kitchen area, solid surface countertops with all residential appliances. Dishwasher, residential faucet, there's a stainless steel drop-in sink in there as well. You got three different burners on the top, and your oven's a Furion brand. And there's a shot of inside of there. Possibly room for a couple pans of biscuits. Your backsplash on this model, one thing I've noticed compared to all of its other ones that we carry, this is real glass. Real glass, backsplash, solid wood cabinets, wall cabinet facings, even the sides. Everything, all the construction on the cabinets is solid wood. 20 cubic foot whirlpool, all electric refrigerator. That does work off the vehicle power while going down the road as well. That's gonna be your dishwasher right back over here. See if we can't turn around and get you guys heading up the stairs. I'm gonna give you a quick pan around real quick. And I'm gonna let out the sleeper sofa closer towards the end to show you how much walk around space you'll have, as well as opening up that table. Your steps leading up are trimmed out in solid wood. But coming up into the bedroom slide, the bedroom slide's gonna start here. And that thing is absolutely massive. Nicer, bigger, heavier cabinet doors as well and check out the glass accent on that one real thick panes the washer and dryer connections are going to be found inside the bedroom slide and this is normally this is different from what we're used to seeing with a lot of our coaches this is going to be our bathroom so your bedroom bathroom and your front door all the controls to operate the model are found down here and i'm bouncing all over the place because there's just so much to show you all your generator controls, heated holding tanks, both for the thermos, your thermostats are in one location and will operate both of the air conditioners on this coach. But coming up, let's take a look at the washer and dryer. Heavy doors. Splendid is the brand, stackable inside of the closet slide, giving you plenty of space still to move about. Some maybe utilize the top of the water to dry here for shelving. More cabinet space up there. There's a shot this way. You do have a pocket style door to close off the bedroom here. And I'll see if I can't close this behind me. But we're gonna go ahead and head into the bathroom. Solid surface countertops carried over into the bathroom area and check out more of that accent light. That's really cool. There's your heating floor, your vent for your heat coming through the floor. Porcelain toilet with a bigger shower seating height inside of the coach of around 80 inches and you've got about a six inch step up to get into the shower though there's a shot of that sink just all formed into that solid surface that's really cool medicine cabinet with a mirror that's pretty different 
that's different from what we're used to seeing here and check out the trim pieces above there as well pretty cool and the doors i forgot to point that out the doors are super heavy so i'll go ahead and close the bedroom door but i like to point out that this door is quite heavy it's on a ball bearing track but it's still you can tell that the quality of the wood they're using in the drv mobile suite is definitely higher grade than some of the other ones you may find in some other full-time coaches six different pull out drawers and you got solid wood there blackout shades and this slide here is that wardrobe slide if you notice it outside it only came out about maybe eight to ten inches fully trimmed out bedroom closet you even have a safe over there let me come over here and point out some of the features in the closet you can just about walk in here lots and lots of space but moving the washer and dryer into the hallway gives you the most closet space in a unit this size there's tons of space let me point this out too check out the headboard trimmed out in real solid wood dimmer switch on both sides with 110 outlets also if you can even see the the window seal there is trimmed out in solid wood but a king size bed this is another bedroom slide and check out the amount of room you've got with that opposing slide there it really opens it up nice to give you plenty of room to move about i'm going to go ahead and let out the sleeper sofa as well as extend this table so you guys get an idea of how much space you possibly have to move about so i've gone ahead and extended the table out as well as let out the sleeper sofa in addition to raising the television up also in relation to size the pull out mattress is about the size of a twin size bed so sleeper room possibly for four individuals and you still have room to recline or just sit into theater seats without interfering with whoever's sleeping but let's point out the table if you lift and pull the table and you can see where it was resting will extend about 12 more additional inches out giving you plenty of elbow room or you can extend it about another 12 inches with this added leaflet for pricing and availability i'll leave a link in the description so you guys can also go back and view more additional photos of this model like subscribe leave me a thumbs up it definitely does help come see us